I hide the dog mountain here in this video I'm gonna show you how you can actually answer let me see how you can answer the question that has to do with construction and law side this is a question that came in math paper 2 2023 20, 20, so here's the question which is question 4 and uh, it reads construct a triangle KLM in which KL is equal to 10 centimeters so always take the first line to be the best line so in this case the best line is KL so we can draw KL which is equal to 10 centimeters so here we go we make max that's 10 when you're picking the dimension make sure that you start from zero so what I've drawn is actually line KL so I will indicate here this is K and that one is L so from there we can actually read on our goal is to construct a triangle and let's say L M is equal to 7 centimeters so from L to M is 7 centimeters so what we are going to do is don't I've seen people do this don't do like this you have to use your pair of compasses to pick the dimension so you plant your pair of compasses on zero then extend it to seven okay so I've picked seven centimeters so I'm gonna plant it at L. We don't know where M will be. So I'm gonna plant it at L and then strike an arc. The arc should be faint because this is a construction line. So from here we read on. It's just a matter of following the instructions. Then the saying KLM is equal to 20 centimeters. So the question is what is this? This is an angle and that should be angle L that is a uh, 120 degrees so here you can actually make use of the protractor we have to pick 120 so you plant it here when you plant the protractor on your right then you have to make use of the upper scale so you start from this side not this side here 0, 10, 20, 50, 60, 70, 120 is here. Uh, so from here, I hope you're able to see that mark. It's there. So I'm going to draw a line from L through the mark and it will touch the arc, the one that I've drawn in the, the faint arc. I hope you're able to see that one. Beautiful. So now this time around, I'm making the line thick a bold because I know it's ending it's no longer a construction line but an object's line okay so now if we fall back on the instructions here you see that we have actually done everything we expected to do but they're saying construct a triangle so now this one is incomplete we can actually conjoin the point here this that's K to that point there. okay beautiful so now we have a triangle now what point is that that point is actually if they're saying we have to have vertices KLM then this one is M are we done let's move on to number two they're saying measure and write the length of KM where's KM so KM is this line here you have to measure this one so we start from zero don't 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 arrange the 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 rule like this but make sure that the zero is on that point then that's uh 14 14 point seven 14 point eight so we can indicate that one as number two we can even indicate it this side 
depending on how you have actually uh, so you say k m that's a line is equal to 14.8 centimeters don't don't mix ink with pencil if you're using pencil go with pencil okay beautiful so we're done with that one let's move on to the next instruction so now they're saying within triangle klm draw the locus of points which are make sure you understand this they're saying within meaning that anything you're drawing shouldn't protrude the boundaries of a triangle the locus of points which are 5.5 centimeters from m so now the locus of points is actually a circle because it's drawn equidistant from the point m so is m m is here so what we do is we pick 5.5 so 5.5 years you planted the, the pair of compasses on zero extend it to so five is here 5.1 5 5.2 5 5.3 5.4 5 5.5 is i'm in here when you pick the dimension plant a pair of compasses on m then strike an arc the arc will actually this one ought to be a circle but we will not finish it in that the condition is that you have to draw this on the inside of the triangle so that's just an arc which is part of the the circle then we move on what is it what are they saying the locus of points which are one centimeter from from lm so lm is a line so this one is a is is a parallel line if you haven't seen the other videos that i did on construction you have to look for them on this uh on this channel so this one is actually a parallel line so now how do you how do you draw this line this parallel line is actually parallel to it's parallel to let's check again parallel to lm so lm is this one here and the line we're going to draw is one centimeter away from lm but it has to be parallel to lm so we pick one centimeter from here we are working with the pair of compasses and the rule so now what you do is you plant your pair of compasses on the line lm strike a faint arc you shift it you plant it to another point draw uh, strike another arc shift it plant it on the same line then strike another arc so now we are going to draw a line that will actually touch the tips of these arcs that i've drawn so far you give it a shot but make sure that the line you're going to draw will actually be within the triangle so that's the parallel line so this line is one centimeter away from lm if we measure we're going to prove that indeed that's one centimeter get done with that one let's move on to the to the third so the third is this one here saying equidistant from m and l the word equidistance equidistant means equal in distance away from something so from m and l where's m and l m and l are here so now what is what line is that which is equidistant to point m and l that's a perpendicular bisector so now how do you draw that perpendicular bisector what you do is you plant your pair of compasses at one point then you extend it beyond the assumed half so half could be somewhere here but i'm like i'm gonna extend the pair of compasses beyond the half then i strike an arc this one ought to be faint then i shift the pair of compasses plant it on the other point which is point m strike an arc which touches the first arc strike the arc on the other end after that i'm gonna draw a line that will actually pass through the intersection points of the arcs which are meeting so it will pass here and there 
but I'm not gonna extend the line in such a way that it protrudes the boundaries of the triangle. I'm gonna draw the line on the inside of the triangle because those are the conditions that whatever we draw has to be within the boundaries of the triangle. So we are done with construction of the low side. These are done. So let's let's move on to see. They're saying a point P within triangle KLM is such that it is less than or equal to 5.5. So you check. It's less than or equal to 5.5. Which one is 5.5? It's this one, right? That's the one we had drawn. So everything will be this side. It's not going to be here. It should be okay. Then there we go. Greater than or equal to one centimeter from LM. Greater than or equal to one. This is one centimeter. Anything this side is less than one centimeter. So that part will be this side. Greater than or equal to one centimeter. <laughs> so now, here we go. Then nearer to L than M nearer to L than M nearer to L than M okay so it's this part nearer to M than L oh nearer to L nearer to let's check this one nearer to L than M indicate clearly by shading the region in which P must lie nearer to L so L is this one huh? So this is the region which is nearer to L than M. So we're going to indicate that P is actually falling here. And we shed. Friends, that's how we answer questions that have to do with construction. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video with as many people as you can. Stay blessed.